I have a couple of points to make here. And uh, they're important points. Now, they, you know, Ruth Ginsburg, uh, she's not doing too good. Now they say she's got pneumonia and uh, she may not be back. Uh, this was a week ago. This is from uh, Fox News. And uh, she still isn't there. And they said, well, she's still uh, Justice John Roberts announced from the bench that Ginsburg is continuing to participate from home. This is not unprecedented as the late Chief Justice William Rehnquist also participated and even authorized several opinions while undergoing cancer treatment from 2004 to 2005. She's 85 years old. She just went under, underwent lung surgery, had two cancerous growth removed, so on and so forth. Now you got Kavanaugh in there. Well, this remains to be seen because we've got some important stuff coming up and that's why I'm making this video right now. Uh, sometime back, I was uh, reading something from this fella. Sir William Blackstone in a long war against law. Now, this guy's name is Ed... V-I-T-A-G-L-I-N-O, Viteno. Anyway, he's a AFA journal staff writer. Well, he pointed something out that I had totally forgotten. I should have known, but I didn't. Uh, used to be, we used to go by the, we used to go by constitutional law. That means when you went to school, you learned what the Constitution was about so you could become a constitutional lawyer. Well, things changed back in 19, or 1865, I think, no? Yeah, uh, sorry, 1870, uh, they, they changed from using uh, the Blackstone commentaries that had uh, principles in it to approach of case law where they studied the writings of judges. Not the Constitution. They studied the writings of judges. So that big change, you know, it looked like it was um, when, when they start going into the thing about uh, the writings of judges, they're getting away from the Constitution. When, what they did, they were able to change the focus from God, who gave us immutable principles, to the judge, the man, the man who was writing the law. By studying case law over time, they were able to show an evolution of the law. And this guy says, in my constitutional law class at Vanderbilt University, one of the very better law schools in this country, we never read the Constitution. We only studied what judges said about it. You understand where I'm coming from? You got people in, in uh, Congress and in D.C. and all over the country, they say they're, that they are constitutional lawyers. You can't be a constitutional lawyer if you only study the writings of judges and not the Constitution because it makes the judge the law and not the Constitution. Makes the law, makes the judges a law unto themselves, not the Constitution. People, that's what I've been trying trying to say here. If you look around, if, the only way to interpret the con Constitution is to study it. Uh, the framers of the Constitution were born and brought up in the atmosphere of the common law, and they thought and spoke its vocabulary. When they came out with their conclusions into the form of fundamental law in a compact draft called the Constitution, they expressed themselves in the common law at the time, confident that they would be shortly and easily understood. The language of the Constitution cannot be interpreted solely uh, safely 
unless you uh, accept reference to the common law of the time. Even the British institutions when they were uh, framed and adopted. Um, to every question of construction in the Constitution, let's carry ourselves back to when the Constitution was, uh, was adopted. Recollect the spirit manifested in, in those debates. And instead of trying to, to, and instead of trying what meaning you can uh, squeeze out of it or invent against it, conform to the probable cause, to the probable one, which was passed. They've got to read the Constitution. We can't have these people putting somebody in Ginsburg's place that hasn't studied the Constitution. Our life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, our Constitution, our way of life, our heritage, it's all wrapped up. And this is very, very, very important at this time and in this part of the game. We're like in the ninth inning right now batters up we could lose the game you've got to be careful they need to ask questions D did this person who's going to be a supreme court pick where did he study and how did he how did he study did he study the writings of what other judges said thus making that judge the law or did he study the constitution as it was written That's my rant for today, people. Uh, we really need, this is very important. You know how bad things are right now. You can feel it in your bones. You don't want somebody in there who's going to play political games instead of uh, interpreting the Constitution the way it was writ written. Thanks for watching.